What's up everybody, I'm Shade. Welcome back to Become a Legend episode 31 and we start off with Cole Jr. getting called up for the national team but before we get into the action this episode guys, I do want to pay my respects to Robin Williams who died yesterday age 63 August 11, 2014. He did everything from uh, acting to stand up comedy and he also played in one of my most one of my all time favorite movies called The Bicentennial Man. Robin Williams was just a huge talent. Rest in peace, you will be missed. So as we get into this first match against Torino, uh, I'm sorry if I bummed you out guys in the very start of this episode, but uh, it just didn't feel right to not say anything as Robin Williams was like a huge actor growing up. And he played in like a lot of movies that I saw, a lot of like silly movies where he played like old women and stuff uh, growing up and he was a part of my childhood and he was a part of like the last good few years of uh, of television. He just did everything as I said in the beginning and it just didn't, wouldn't feel right to you know not say anything. But um, I don't want to you know cause sadness, he's caused happiness and, and laughter for the entire his career, for the, his, his entire career so I don't want to undo that by um, having a sad moment but uh, yeah just rest in peace that's all I can say but we have this match let's get into the action 2-1 is the score right now in the in this Torino match and Cole Jr. has got uh, got this goal uh, to bring the lead back to Milan and actually here he steals the ball away with the tackle and then a Ronaldo chop to beat the defender inside the box, left footed shot, powers that at the near post and it, it makes, um, he makes rather, the lead 3-1 for Milan and, and actually let's get uh, into the replay because that was a beautiful uh, Ronaldo chop, let's see that actually closer, he actually nutmeg the guy, I mean sure that was sloppy as it can get, but hey did it go through the legs, yes, therefore nutmeg, so uh, if you nutmeg uh, someone with a Ronaldo chop, you know you're a badass, and that is exactly what Cole is. And this match ends 3 to 1 for Milan, 8.0 match rating. And Cole actually got two goals in this match. And we see our the first knockout round we see Roma, Barca, Schalke, Man City. We are actually paired up with Lyon, Atletico de Madrid is paired up with PSG, Ajax, Chelsea, Anderlecht, FC Porto and again Milan with, with uh, Lyon and we actually are going to go in this Champions League match right now against Olympique Lyon and Cole here with the flick in the in the 8th minute and he just powers through everyone, well he doesn't power, he just sprints to everyone and in the end he actually shoots it off target which is a little disappointing but uh, this uh, just sh goes to show like a very great improvement in our pace because I remember when we first started and I've mentioned this that we started with very very low pace and it was just impossible to beat a, a one on one like um, the last defender it was impossible to just print away through on goal from the last defender but now we are able to just print all the way across we are at about 85 uh, uh, pace right now and Cole gets his first goal of the game in this match with Lyon at the near post and then the uh, opposition player actually gets a very similar opportunity there but our goalkeeper Gabriel saves it but the same player who generated who generated the corner is that the right way to say uh, anyway I'll go with that but the same player who took the shot earlier that caused the corner there you go actually gets the goal from the corner with a beautiful half volley after the chest control and now Milan are breaking through again Cole Jr inside the box he does manage to get a shot away with the, the slide but the referee says that the slide counted as a foul so he gets Cole gets uh, yellow carded and this in the first match with Torino El Shirawi was the actual captain and now Cole is the captain so I don't know what the game what the deal is this year but uh, the captaincy doesn't really make that much sense but Cole gets another goal in this Lyon match after the equalize Cole restores the lead for Milan with a beautiful uh, shot after the flick well he flicked it and then he actually made another touch and that extra touch made the goal because he would if he would have taken it right after the flick like he did last episode they probably would have gotten blocked by a defender but speaking of defenders they make an awful mistake at the back and Cole Jr. got his third goal in this match the easiest goal he probably ever get and the easiest hat trick that he got and he gets some love from Robinho and Balotelli who um, doesn't get too much playtime so it's always nice to see him and Cole Jr. both on the pitch at the same time. He does get subbed in the 80th minute and um, it does finish 3-1 for Milan. 
and the three away goals for Milan makes it kind of impossible, almost impossible for Lyon to go through in the second leg because they have uh, to get at least three goals now and keep it that way if they want to progress to the quarterfinals. But in the second leg actually is right after this match and um, Cole passed it to Robinho there. Robinho took a little more time than usual and his shot was weak in the end. Cole with the sprint there and then the shot at the near post and it does get saved. But look at that beautiful double touch and he keeps uh, going on the wing. He passed it inside to, uh, I don't actually know who that was, probably Poli or someone. But a fake shot here and then the shot, goalkeeper saves it and... Um, Cole gets up into 80th minute and no goals in this match but that's more than good enough for Milan to go through to the uh, quarter finals and it's 3 on an aggregate 0 nil, nil in the second leg and we are going to see Cole's rating for this match uh, it's actually let me see it's a 7.5 not bad considering he didn't score any goals or get any assists but Real Madrid underlegged Chelsea, Basel, Milan, PSG, Barca, Man City for the quarterfinals. And against PSG, oh my god, that will be a tough, tough match. But the last match of this episode, we're gonna go uh, into a little colorful uh, matches. It's the South uh, American qualifiers. No, no, no. Is it? Or is it the South African? I think it's the South African qualifiers. And it's against... Um, Ecuador, Ecuador, a team that in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team and especially the World Cup Ultimate Team, they are just pace. Every player across their uh, team has a lot of pace. But uh, here's the thing, just pace isn't enough. And that goes to show because Cole got two goals here, two very similar goals actually. I believe they were both after the fake shot and then another fake shot there passes it uh, to Neymar I think that is and then gets it back from Neymar tries the finesh up but uh, cannot curl it around the goalkeeper and then the, the ball is played back the flick there left foot a shot gets blocked and goes for the corner kick and actually they have a corner kick here in the second half and they actually get a pretty nice goal with a very talented player in Montero and uh, the, the CPU in this game always tries the half volley after the punch away by the goalkeeper from the corners but they never go through this one w went through and it was very very nice to see Cole passes it there I believe that was Neymar again and the screen is really small when I commentate so just forgive me if I say anything wrong but after Cole gets up there uh, Neymar actually gets the goal in this match and check that out number nine for Neymar how weird is that guys how weird is that but they get another goal here with um, Fernando to make it 4-1 and I cracked up when I saw that guy's name, Moron. His name is Moron. How funny is that, guys? But 4-1 um, is what it finishes. And uh, we win this uh, first quali South African qualifier. I'm going to go with that. I'm pretty sure it's that. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is the end of it. Leave a like if you did. I've been Shay. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.